So you moved out to Wyoming with your husband and your three sons. Yes. Um, 2016, Fred is 15 at this time, and he's, he's finding school quite difficult. Yeah, when, when we moved, actually, he was finding a school difficult. We thought this is going to give him a whole new lease of life. He was struggling to organise himself, struggling to concentrate, but all his teachers were saying, but he's got such a great attitude and he's such a nice person and we don't really get it. Mm. And I thought, well, you know, and we were coming to maybe... Has he got inattentive ADHD, something like that going on? You know, he would forget everything. Yeah. It was a joke between me and school that every day I'd be in with his lunch or his calculator, his books or his... And he was tired all the time and people were saying, he's 15, he's a 15-year-old yeah. yeah. boy, what do you expect? He's going to be scatty, he's going to be tired. Of course. He's, you know. But there were other symptoms as well, weren't there? Because you, there was migraines and yeah. the migraines run in both the, your and your husband's right. side of the family. So, well, what we thought were migraines, mm. they weren't. Um, but when I took him to the doctor, with, he, he kept coming out of the bedroom early in the morning, and this is a guy who's always slept in, mm. saying, my head, my head, my head is really hurting. So the, so the headaches were waking him up. Mm. And sometimes he literally walked out of his room and vomited. Oh, God. And that's, you know, that's quite extreme mm. for, for migraines. So I took him to the doctors and she said, no, that's, that, I think that's what it is. And it was only a couple of months later, and actually the headaches seemed to be easing off, when he said, um, if I look at my computer for too long, and he'd been binge watching on Netflix, I, I, I can't, you know, I'm really blurry. And I thought, why didn't we have his eyes tested? When he first started getting these headaches, we should have done that. So uh, that's when it all started to speed up. You went to the uh, the optometrist, the opticians, yeah. and, uh, and they said both of the optic nerves were swollen. You that's should have an MRI scan. Took him for an MRI scan. What did they find? The next day he was in the MRI and he came out looking white as a sheet. And I thought, oh, he's going to vomit. And no, he went into his first seizure at oh. that point. So we were code blue, straight to the emergency room. They got him on an IV with anti-seizure medication in and took us then out of the room, sat us down and said, your boy is really sick. Mm. And you could and see, I mean, you looked at He just scan. said, look at, if you look at this picture of his brain, mm. <laughs> which we did, mm. and he didn't need to say anything else. It was really obvious. It was massive. It was six centimetres by four oh by four. Oh, my God. Mm. And, the, um, and the, the outlook and the diagnosis was poor. I mean, it, to say I least. said, are we going to lose him? And the guy said, I think you are. Yeah. Wow. But it was hard. At the, you know, 30, 30 people today will go through that, yeah. will go through that diagnosis day, yeah. which is why it's so important to reach out and say, you know, there's support there. Well, this but, is all um, part of Brain Tumor Awareness Month, which we're going to mention in a, exactly. in a moment. We'll put all the details <clears throat> on, our, on our website. So we were flown down to Salt Lake City in an emergency jet, yeah. um, not knowing what was going to happen at that point. You just, you're kind of going one minute at a time, trying to make him laugh. Well, as a mum, you're holding it all together um, and, uh, and right, OK, well, we'll get through this, we'll get yeah. through this. It's only when he was wheeled down to theatre that you allowed yourself to yeah. come to bits. Yeah, absolutely. He, they wheeled him away and I was like, and we'd been joking. We'd been joking with the guy about, you know, how quickly was he going to fall asleep? And he was saying, no, I'm going to try and stay awake longer. Ha, ha, ha. And the door closed. And I just crumbled. I bet you did. Because at that point, you've really handed your baby over. Mm. And it's not a baby, he's 15, you kill me for saying that, but yeah. not and in they, your hands anymore.